If you're looking for the best beginner bass guitar, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Squeer Classic Vibe 70s Precision Bass. The Squeer Classic Vibe series was created as Fender's response to the surge in the demand for vintage guitars and basses. Fender resurrected one of their all-time legends for the Squire Classic Vibe lineup, the Precision Bass, in its 1970 specs. The Precision was the first electric bass to earn widespread attention from the general public, becoming one of the best-selling and most imitated bass designs in history. The Vibe part of the name hints at the fact that this is not a reissue or recreation of a 1970s era precision bass, but that it is a modern instrument with certain vintage features added, altering its aesthetics, tone, or handling to more closely resemble an instrument from decades. Long past this is, in essence, a modern tribute to a 1970s P bass. The body exhibits the standard precision shape and is made from NATO, which is used as a replacement tone load for mahogany. This will change the fundamental tone of the vibe in ways that you might not expect from a 1970s P-Bass, the latter having been built with an ash body. The vibe has a little less pronounced low end, but will make up for this with much more mid-range presence than its forebear. There are two color options for the Vibe 70s P-Bass, Walnut and Black. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Ibanez GSR200B. The GSR series of basses from Ibanez was created for bass players who demand great tone and build quality but at a budget-friendly price point. It almost doesn't make sense that Ibanez is able to turn out such a good instrument at this price point. In my opinion, it's the best beginner bass guitar out there for the money. The body uses Nyato as a tone wood. This is considered to be a more sustainable alternative to mahogany from which the GSR200's body was built in the past. Sonically, and visually they should be indistinguishable from each other. The GSR200's body shape is almost identical to the more prestigious SR line, though slightly less conjured than its cousin, and the lower cutaway is still ideally crafted to let you reach the highest frets on its fretboard. The 34 long scale bolt-on neck is built from maple with a satin finish and again, very similar to the SR series in terms of shape, feel, playability and build quality but instead of the 24 frets you find on an SR, there are only 22 medium-sized frets set into the GSR's fretboard. With simple white dot marker inlays and a blind test, you would be hard-pressed to tell one from the other. The fretboard is made from Jatoba, the same as the SR series, and the sound it imparts is very similar to Rosewood. The number 3 position is held by ESP Limited B204SM. ESP Electronic Sound Products started out in 1975 as a small shop providing custom replacement parts for guitars in Tokyo, Japan. In the early 80s, they expanded their business to New York and shortly after that, started crafting custom instruments for the local artist base there. Following their success as a guitar and bass manufacturer, ESP got out of the replacement parts business, focusing solely on building premium guitars and basses. In 1995, the Limited Series was created to build their high-quality instruments at more affordable prices. Enter the ESP Limited B204 SM4 string bass. The SM stands for Spalted Maple. It wears its custom shop DNA on the outside for everyone to see. The delicately condored body with its double cutaway is made from solid ash. But the first thing that catches your eye is the beautiful Spalted Maple top and its matching headstock in a natural finish an absolute rarity at its price point. The lower cutaway is generous in its size and ensures that you'll reach the highest registers of the fretboard with these. The 34 long scale neck has a thin, U-shaped profile, is built from a five-piece maple slash Jatoba laminate, which bolts onto the body via six screws and rests in an oversized and impeccably crafted pocket inside the body. Next at number four, we have Sterling by Music Man SUB Stingray 4HH. The Music Man Stingray is an iconic bass guitar, and its pedigree is unquestionable. Being designed in part by bass guru Leo Fender in the 70s, and having a list of famous players as long as the now-extinct telephone book, has only added to its appeal funk legend Louis Johnson, Colin Greenwood of Radiohead, Justin Chancellor of Tool, Joe Dart of Wolfbeck, or Stefan Lessard of Dave Matthews Band. Just to name a few, 
and the list goes on and on to infinity. The Stingray's place in history is secured as being the first commercially available base with an onboard 9V active EQ. Fit for the base player masses, while its characteristic, aggressive growl can be traced back to the oversized humbucker placed near the bridge. After this brief base history lesson, Fast forward to the late 2000s, when finally the Sterling by Music Man SUB series hits the market. Even though Sterling is tasked with producing affordable Stingray copies, they still have much in common with the original they are based on, in terms of build quality and performance. The Sterling SUB series Stingray 4HH has a basewood body with a double cutaway in the classic Stingray fashion, but slightly smaller than the original and comes with an olive, dark green finish. The number 5 position is held by Ibanez GS Rem 20B. The GS Rem 20B Micro is a 28.6 super short scale base. 30 is considered the standard short scale design, with young players in mind who would be struggling to learn to play and practice on the standard 34 long scale basis. The short scale length and narrower frets enable small hands to acquire the proper techniques and apply them correctly without resorting to left hand acrobatics. Despite its intended purpose as the first base for young musicians, fully grown, standard scale bass players can have a lot of fun with the GS Rem 20B micro bass, as it definitely proves that big tone doesn't always come from big and bulky packages. The lightweight poplar body is counter to the standard GS R slash SR template with twin cutaways through all, with reduced dimensions when compared to the micro's fully grown relatives. The generous bottom cutaway allows comfortable access up to the end of the fretboard. It comes with two color options, walnut flat and weathered black. The bolt-on maple neck has a flat D-shape with a satin finish, ending in a jet black headstock. Like all GSR bases with the standard Ibanez closed machine heads in the 2-2 layout, the Jetoba fretboard is accented by simple white dot fret markers and bears 22 wall-finished medium-sized frets. The B10 bridge can be found on the entire GRS line of bases and it has also made its way to the micro. Its design takes inspiration from the old-school Fender L-shaped bridges but improves on it by beefing up its mass and string saddles. The number 6 position is dominated by Yamaha TR Bex 174. Yamaha's decades-old history of building very good quality instruments at affordable prices has it uniquely positioned to try to take over the entry-level segment of the base market. The TR Bex 174 electric bass could be the ideal choice for someone just beginning to learn the basics of playing the bass guitar but due to its quality construction and no frills approach, it could serve for far longer than a fifth step instrument. It features a sleek and countered older body with a double cutaway design and four color options, red metallic, black, old violin sunburst, and dark blue metallic. The generous lower cutaway and ergonomically contoured heel enables strainless playing, even in the highest registers of the fretboard. The bolt-on, 34 maple neck has a comfortable and very fast modern C-shaped profile and it is attached to the body using four screws. The fretboard is crafted from sonocoin which is a rosewood analog and will add well-balanced low end and mid-range to your tone while mellowing out harsh treble frequencies. On it, you'll find the 24 medium-sized frets and subdued white dot fret markers. Moving on to the next and number 7 with Square Classic Vibe 60's Jazz Bass. Fender builds the most recognizable basses around and has been doing it for more than 60 years. The Jazz Bass is Fender's most popular bass and probably the most copied bass design there ever was. The Asian-built Squeer series was created to appease the masses, demanding affordable alternatives of Fender's mainstay instruments. Following an uptick of public interest for vintage instruments and the subsequent skyrocketing of their prices, Squeer again met this challenge head-on paying homage to legend by recreating the bass that had set the trend. For decades after its inception, the 1960s jazz bass, although with some minor modern tweaks to this iconic design. The body is crafted from solid poplar, possessing the same asymmetrical double cutaway as its 60s era counterpart in every jazz bass ever since. The classic vibe jazz bass comes in three color alternatives, three color sunburst, Daphne blue and black. In a gloss polyurethane finish, the number 8 position is held by Ibanez SR370E. Ibanez is one of the greats of guitar and bass manufacturing, with multiple decades of groundbreaking instrument designs under their belt. The SR line of basses has been around for more than 30 years now and will not be going away anytime soon. It features a broad spectrum of bass models, starting with the GSR series, oriented towards more modest budgets 
up to the quite expensive bases of the SR Premium and SR Prestige series, offering exotic tone woods and the highest quality of craftsmanship that Ibanez is capable of. The cornerstones of the SR series, regardless of the price, are playability, versatility, and attention to detail. The SR370E truly shows its pedigree from the start. Like all bases of the SR line, it has the same flowing and organic-looking body shape with a double cutaway, the lower one. Perfectly sculpted to enable you to comfortably reach up to the next 24th medium-sized fret. Next at number 9, we have Yamaha BB234. Yamaha's iconic line of BB, broad bass bass guitars, is more than 40 years old at this point in time. The first BB-1200 rolled off of the assembly line in 1977. It was basically a high-end P-Bass clone, featuring a neck-through body design with a five-piece laminated neck and a single-split coil P-style pickup, with its cornerstones being superior sonic versatility and playability. Not long after the release of the BB-1200, Yamaha realized the advantages of the PJ pickup combination and has arguably become one of the best PJ bass makers around. The BB234 builds on this 40-plus year legacy by delivering the superb sound and build quality that this series is known for in a smaller body with even better playability geared towards new bass players. It features a very ergonomically contoured solid alder body with double cutaways and classic 1977 broad bass styling. It comes in four color variants, red with a white pickguard, natural satin with a black pickguard, black with a white pickguard, and vintage white with a black pickguard. All of them with a black headstock and gloss urethane finish. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Jackson JS Series Spectra Bass JS3Q. Jackson has more than 30 years of instrument building expertise under its belt, and the Spectra JS3Q undoubtedly shows their mastery of this craft. The Jackson Spectra Bass JS3Q packs a lot of punch in a very aesthetically pleasing package. So if you're looking for a great all-rounder bass guitar, this could very well be it. It features a contoured poplar body, topped with an eye-popping quilted maple veneer, stained in an amber-blue burst with a glossy finish. Its double cutaway was designed. The large upper horn keeps the bass well-balanced while preventing neck dive, and the lower one is much more restrained in its size leaves enough space to allow you access to even the highest frets of the fingerboard. That's all for today. We upload music product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.